Is it just me or do you feel that sometimes your own home exercises are not enough to keep your gains? Or you feel like you're losing your gains? Do you feel like sometimes it could bring your gym into your home? So during this quarantine, I thought of building my own pull-up bars and dips because I feel like doing press-ups and using 6-liter water bottles for dumbbells is not enough for me to maintain my fitness. Since I have a few time I could use to take up a new hobby, I thought of taking this project of building my own pull-up bar and dips. There's a lot of ideas out there. You can go and Google and look at some products that are already in the market and you can maybe copy it, you can buy it, but you know, during this quarantine, they don't do delivery. So what I do is I decided to look for a shop that is open that sells metal bars and perhaps design my own. But before I show you how I build my own pull-up bar, I want to show you some ideas I researched and maybe this could help you build your own. So some pull-up bars are attached to a wall, some are hang onto doors, but I didn't see that that would be possible in our house because it's pretty small here. I decided on building my own dips or pull-up bars that can stand by themselves without the need of attaching it to a wall. Also ones that is portable. So I'll show you my own personal design of my own pull-up bars and my dips. So right now I'm outside the house and I'm trying to decide whether the bar should be 4 feet wide or 3 feet wide. I'll show you what the bar is supposed to look like. Here's what the bar is supposed to look like. We'll have a base like that. It's more comfortable to do a muscle up on a wider one. Uh, you have more space to swing. However, my concern is I don't know how tough this bar is. So the longer the side bar is, the more likely it will bend in the middle. For example, if you do a close grip at the middle, the longer the bar is, the more likely it will bend. But if it's a little shorter, the stronger it is because it won't have that much area to bend. At the same time, it's more ideal for the space that I have but most pull-up bars are around four feet wide but three and a half feet wide I think should be fine so we're making some progress the pose should look like this when it's all welded up so right now I'm getting it welded I'm getting some help with my friend here Joshua to make sure it's right way up we have an L ruler here we should make sure that it's 45 degree my grinder here I've gotten a lot better using this right now I have this thick grinder for smoothing rough edges the blades for cutting and uh, I think I'll be using these to make that shape the corners finally it's looking more like a pull-up bar right to make it more stable I cut some holes a hole there on the top there's the base just have to make sure that it's all level. It's pretty much level. I mean, you can't be 100% perfect so long that it's strong. Okay. We're done with our pull-up bar. We made sure the side post was thick and stable. One and a quarter inch thick in diameter. As you can see, it's very sturdy. I'll give you a sample. So 
yeah. What I'll do now is I'll sand the whole thing and uh, spray paint it. Hopefully close the holes that are exposed here and there. You don't want it to be exposed because when it gets wet, rust can develop and I want this to last long. Next will be my dips. in now we're just adjusting for the right angle hey people here's my dip here's my pull-up bar I got a little bit creative with this one had to put the A for a pugan that's not only for aesthetics that serves a purpose since we only have thinner bars we had to add some more stabilization so that bar on top of the A and then the bottom and the A itself adds to some of the structure and integrity of the whole dip bar. What we will do is we are going to grind the whole thing, smooth in the corners and the welding joints and then thinking of spray painting this one. So this is my first day of basically using my DIY calisthenic equipment. Calisthenics, for those who don't know, is um, working out using your own body weight. Exercise like pull-up bars, like dips, you're utilizing your own body weight. Uh, this also applies for like press-ups, usually pertaining to your upper body muscles. And um, what I'll do is that I'll do this every day. I do pull-ups and dips. I might set a target goal for my first week and then the second week and see progress and um, see if I gain some mass and watch out for more videos. So I hope that video inspires someone to take up a new hobby, perhaps take on the project of building their own calisthenics equipment. It doesn't take that long to build. For me, it took me a while because I didn't know how to weld. I didn't know how to use a grinder or work with metal, but I think if I make one again, it would take me about probably four hours to build the pull-up bar and maybe three hours for the dips. But if you're used to working with metals, and you've used those tools before, I'm sure that you can finish that quicker than me. And I didn't have all the tools, but I had to do with what I had. And I'm sure this is something that you can do, something that's possible. And I wouldn't say it's the easiest, but it's very doable if you if you have the will to really build your own equipment that would last long and something that you can keep for a while. There's always ways to make your own exercise equipment. You just have to be creative. You have to do your research. Look around you. Like for example, here I'm on top of this balcony and I could easily do dips here. For example, if you can't build your own dips, you can do it here. See this corner right here? If you can't build your own dips, you just have to be creative. Maybe you have a balcony, find a corner where you can do some dips. Maybe you find a sturdy place where you could do pull-ups. Um, can't find any here that's why i built my own so you just have to be creative if you want to exercise also it's great building your own stuff it's a great satisfaction so that's all i want to encourage everybody you know there's always ways to do your own makeshift exercise equipment you can do some gardening that's a good exercise cutting the grass manually instead of using a machine this is more tiring than i thought 
that really works out your chest, triceps, your biceps, and you'll find out that it's actually more exhausting than many of the exercises we do in the gym. So just keep fit, keep active, stay near your house, social distance. So that's me saying goodbye. Be active, be creative, and stay safe.